What if I told you the Philippines could soon assemble its own fighter jets? Not imported, not borrowed, but built and maintained right here on Philippine soil. Sounds impossible? Well, it's already been discussed, and the aircraft involved is Korea's newest fighter jet, the KF-21 Borame. This is not a rumor. A DND official, Assistant Secretary Catherine Lingen, visited Korea Aerospace Industries during Defense and Security Expo 2025. And according to multiple Korean reports, KAI and the Philippines are now exploring something massive, a local assembly line, a full MRO facility, and a plan to supply 12 KF-21PH units to the Philippine Air Force. If this pushes through, it will be one of the biggest aerospace milestones in Philippine history. South Korea's KF-21 Borame is their newest generation fighter jet, a 4.5 plus fighter jet, but looks like a mini F-22. But the key difference? It's faster to acquire, easy to maintain, and much more affordable. Key features include stealth-optimized design, long-range ASA radar, precision guided weapons, high maneuverability, ground and air superiority capability. And now, the Philippines is being offered its own custom version, the KF-21PH. Visually and functionally, it resembles a more cost-effective version of the F-35, but with less restriction on weapons integration. The KF-21PH is a variant intended for the Philippine Air Force, meaning local requirements, Philippine sensors, potential upgrades, local assembly, supported by a Philippine-based MRO. This is not an off-the-shelf jet. This is a customized future. Right now, the PAF's most capable fighters are the FA-50PH aircraft, which are excellent, but light combat jets. But the Philippines needs a true multi-role fighter for air defense border protection, maritime deterrence, northern and western defense lines. The KF-21PH fits perfectly in that requirement, especially for long-term modernization. This is where things get exciting. The proposal includes establishing a local assembly line for the KF-21PH, right here in the Philippines. That means jobs for Filipino aerospace engineers, local industry growth, skill transfer from Korea, faster repairs and upgrades, lower long-term costs for PAF. The proposed MRO facility would also support future FA-50 upgrades, repairs, overhauls, logistic support. But the new aircraft to be assembled is the KF-21, not the FA-50. A major boost to Philippine defense capability. Think about it. Instead of sending jets back to Korea for maintenance that takes months, the work can be done in the Philippines by Filipino technicians, supporting Filipino jobs, strengthening Philippine sovereignty. Aside from KF-21 and FA-50, Philippines has the potential to provide technical support to other KI foreign operators. This means the Philippines could become a regional hub for KI aircraft. Korea Aerospace Industries KI is formally proposing to supply 12 brand new KF 21PH Borame multi-role fighters to the Philippine Air Force as the first acquisition batch. If approved, this initial fleet would instantly transform the PAF's combat capabilities and elevate the country into League of Modern Air Powers in the Indo-Pacific. A full squadron of KF-21PH jets means a PAF can permanently station, rotate, and deploy fighters for air patrols, territorial defense, and maritime security missions across the West Philippine Sea. This gives the PAF a credible and sustainable air superiority presence, something the FA-50s alone cannot deliver. The KF-21's powerful radar, high thrust-to-weight ratio, and advanced missile options, Meteor BVRM, AIM-120, Iris-T, etc., give the Philippines a real, modern interceptor, capable of engaging threats far beyond visual range. 
This is a massive leap over current assets and finally gives the Philippines the ability to respond to intrusions instantly and decisively. For the first time, the Philippine Air Force would have a platform capable of precision long-range strike, including anti-ship land attack and standoff weapon systems. This gives the Philippines a serious deterrent capability, the ability to hit hostile ships or strategic targets without entering enemy air defense range. The KF-21PH is not just a basic fighter. It's a semi-stealth, sense of fusion, network center platform with an ASA radar, IRSD, advanced data link, and future upgrade path to internal weapons bays. This would give the PAF genuine 4.5 plus generation capabilities, placing it at par with aircraft like the Rafale, Gripen E, and F-15EX. With the KF-21PH, the Philippine Air Force would finally operate aircraft that can match, rival, or even outperform some of the jets currently flying in Southeast Asia, including Vietnam Su-30, Malaysia's Su-30MKM, Indonesia's F-16 Block 52, and Singapore's F-16B fleet. For the first time in its history, the Philippine Air Force would no longer be outclassed in a high-end aerial engagement. The KF-21PH proposal isn't just about buying fighter jets. It's about building a future where Filipino engineers, Filipino pilots, and Filipino facilities maintain and assemble world-class aircraft. This could be the moment the Philippines steps into the aerospace age. And if it happens, it will reshape our defense story for generations. This is more than buying an aircraft. This is building an aerospace industry. This is creating hundreds of technical jobs. This is giving the Philippines a chance to rise as a regional defense partner, not just a buyer. So the big question now is, will the Philippines push through the deal? And are we ready for a future where Philippine-made fighter jets take to the skies? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Share, like our video, and subscribe for more updates in Defense Forces Insights. If you love to watch videos like this, Click any of the two videos that will appear before this video end. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.